Well, for nearly a day, thousands of gallons of raw, untreated sewage spilled directly into a creek in Mobile. Mobile Area Water and Sewer System says a blocked pipe caused the problem. This is a sanitary sewer overflow. Saturday, Mobile Baykeeper shot this video of untreated wastewater pouring out of a sewer manhole near Second Creek Court. And it's currently flowing into Second Creek. Moss says over the course of 21 hours, 252,000 gallons spilled into Second Creek. People should care about a gallon of raw sewage or untreated sewage going into a water body because it can cause significant health impacts pretty immediately. The health department warns people to avoid any standing water that may have come from this overflow and to immediately wash hands and clothing if you come into contact. There are illnesses and viruses that are associated with raw sewage. So you can, if, if somebody upstream has the flu, you can get the flu or worse. Moss says clogs usually happen because of grease or debris. In this case, a high powered hose couldn't break it up and the pipe will have to be excavated. Mobile Baykeeper Executive Director Casey Calloway says there should be better notification when sewage spills happen. Right now, she says utilities self report to health departments in the state. It's not an easy mechanism for us to understand that we need to be out of that water. The environmental watchdog group she leads is now pushing for change. What we're working to do is make sure every sewage treatment facility notifies the community every time there's a spill via Facebook, website, media, directly to the media, not via a third party. We want to make sure that the public has the best chance of protecting themselves. Amaz says work on the pipe begins this week. In the meantime, a bypass line has been set up. Another sewage overflow to tell you about, this time in Baldwin County. The Baldwin County Health Department says 650 gallons of raw sewage spilled into Tiawassee Creek in Daphne yesterday. The agency warns to thoroughly cook any fish or seafood caught nearby. Moz has announced it will be building a new catch basin on Halls Mill Creek. The basin would serve to catch wastewater runoff in case of a break or spill from the sewer system. We first told you about the basin idea in January after the area saw severe flooding and sewage runoff. When we get a lot of rain, it actually comes from the, the river um, to halfway up. I uh, drink one cup of coffee every day and I've been making my one cup of coffee out of distilled bottled water. The basin is expected to cost close to $8 million. Construction will start in just a few.